Hello everyone, welcome back uh, here at Van Amsen with another live coding uh, session. So today we have a, a really interesting problem on our hands. Uh, if you ever mistype something and hit uh, backspace a few times, you will relate to this uh, challenge. So let's dive right in. So the problem statement is uh, as follows. So given uh, two string S and T, where the character uh, sharp act as a backspace, we need to determine if uh, the resulting string are uh, equal after applying all uh, backspaces. So uh, consider uh, the string S, so A, B, uh, sharp, uh, C, so, and yeah, T, A, D, uh, sharp, C. So uh, let's write it down. So S will be A, B, sharp, uh, C, and T will be uh, A, D, sharp, C. And after applying the backspace, both string become uh, AC because we delete uh, this one and this one, and we are left with uh, just AC. So our output uh, should be uh, true. Uh, okay, so what is the logic of a possible solution? So we will process each string to determine uh, its uh, effective uh, content after uh, backspaces and compare the effective content of the two uh, string. And the key challenge here is to efficiently process the backspaces without uh, using extra uh, space. So it's also uh, one of the constraints. Uh, so can you uh, solve it in O n time and O one uh, space? So, all right, let's start uh, by writing uh, the function process uh, string that uh, will simulate uh, typing and uh, backspacing. So we have uh, defined process string, string t0, and for i in range len string uh, i string sharp and string key will be uh, string i and key plus one and the else uh, key max key minus one zero and return key. So uh, now let's discuss this. So we use uh, two pointer. So i traverse through the string and key keeps track of the uh, effective uh, position after considering backspaces. And if the characters uh, isn't a sharp, we type uh, it. And if it's a sharp, we backspace by moving uh, our effective pointer key one step back. So now uh, that we have uh, our process string function, uh, we can uh, integrate it into our main function. Uh, so yeah. Let's write it down. So uh, convert string uh, to list for in place modification. Uh, as t will be list as list t and key process string s p process string t. And if effective length are different, return false. Uh, if key not p, uh, we return simply false. And compare the effective characters. So for i in range key, if s not t, return false and otherwise just uh, return true. So uh, let's run it to see if it's working. So hopefully it will. Uh, it's computing, yeah, so all good. And uh, yeah, so before wrapping up, let's uh, test uh, it for unseen test cases as well. So I'm uh, submitting it and yeah, Let's see, so all working perfectly. 
uh, beating 85% with respect to runtime, uh, 40, uh, yeah, 34 uh, milliseconds, and uh, with respect to memory, all good. So this is our solution, uh, quite uh, straightforward, and there we have it, a neat solution to a problem that's more common than we think, uh, and uh, yeah, dealing with uh, backspaces, and I hope you found this session helpful, and remember, it's not just about getting uh, the right solution, but also understanding the logic uh, behind it. So keep practicing, uh, keep coding, and uh, we will see you in the uh, next session. And if you enjoyed this session, make sure to hit the like button, uh, share and subscribe for uh, the channel for more coding adventure, uh, challenges, tutorial, machine learning, tech, and much more. And yeah, stay motivated, happy coding. See you next time.